Hey there, thank you for watching the video about Chrome Browser DevTools. DevTools are a powerful set of tools helping web developers to build better applications. In this video, we will learn about another cool tool called Payload Tab. What exactly Payload is? When you make a network request or an API request, specifically with the HTTP method called POST or PUT, you tend to send some data from your client to server as a payload. And often you want to inspect like how exactly this data formatted, how exactly is data shaped so that a server can interpret it correctly. And from that point of time, you can debug and figure out if there is a problem in it. Now with the latest Chrome version, we have this particular tab isolated so that you can get a proper view of all the payload details and can inspect them. All right, so let's see that in action. We need to launch Chrome DevTools, to do that, either you press the F12 key or right click on your application page and say inspect. Once you do that, the Chrome Developer Tools will appear momentarily. Here you go. And then this particular panel I'm talking about, it will be inside the network tab. You can just click on this and then you have this network tab. So the network tab is here to capture all the requests you know, that you make from the client application to server. All the HTTP requests you, you can actually track. And then we can actually start inspecting. So let us go ahead and try to figure out a post call where we might be sending certain payload and try to inspect with the payload tab. Here I see one request called collect. And what exactly collect is, is a post call. And we see this particular tab called payload. If you go to this payload tab, it has bunch of requests payload which might not make any sense to you because this probably got encrypted in such a way that it doesn't make any sense which might be very well valid thing for an application to send that is encrypting this particular payload and sending it across so the server can actually decrypt and start doing it. But the main point is we have a tab available now where we can actually start seeing it. Also sometimes this might be garbage because the kind of character support that's required for this to inspect that character support may not be there in this particular browser. Now to get this example correctly, I have got another event. And in this very particular event, what we see there the payload tab is correctly showing, you know, things that we are actually sending as a request payload. We have things like context, we have things like events, the request in millisecond. There are a bunch of details that are going from the client application to server application which is cool. And at some point of time, just by looking into it, you can actually recognize that something that you are sending may not be the one that your server is expecting and so that you can change it. One point to remember here, the payload tab will be available only if there is a payload into the request. If there is a get call, get call doesn't have the payload usually, you won't see the payload available for the get calls. All right, so I hope you found this particular video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we keep sharing videos like this, tips like this, so that you won't miss them. All right, thank you very much for watching.